Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're down at Avro. The beautiful Monday evening. A little bit of a challenge today, see which is better. I'm going to use wooden plastic tees. Some people say wooden's better, some say plastic better. So we're going to see which we feel is better using a seven or eight iron with a driver and probably a five wood. So we're going to use the old wooden tee, which is the PTS Pro. We're going to use good old pinky. Maybe the blue one, but I think it might be too high for the the. the um, Get around a minute. It's probably too high for the uh, five wood or the lime green one. So we're on a par three here. Just done a quick warm up shot, and we are overshooting the green on a seven iron. So we might go to uh, an eight iron to see what we can do. So we're going to try and get both shots the same as we can uh, and see which one's the better one. So we go with wooden tee first, followed by. couldn't quite get the wooden tee to the height I wanted it so I put the obviously the plastic one in and that went in quite well so I'll show you where they've gone you can see it where you can there's one just there from the green and the other one is somewhere over there I'm not too sure where. Alright okay, guys, taking you with me. I'm going to try and keep you out of the sun because the sun is right behind us. So, that's the wooden tee. Sorry, that's the plastic tee. Uh, we get to zoom out to the see it. Obviously, short of the, uh, just short of the green. And The other one is over here. Slightly to the left. And past the flag. Let's see if I can zoom out. There's the flag. There's the ball. So yeah, so considering Normally it's a bad hole for me this, for some reason, it's a bit of a nightmare hole. Uh, I'd be happy with both them shots, but I got the ball to the right height that I needed with the plastic one. So on the on the irons, that's one nil to the plastics. Let's move on to the drivers. Let's see what happens there. Right, okay, now we've moved on to our Par hole number four, which is a par five, which we're going to use for the driver and the five wood. Let's see what happens on these. Now, I'm not too sure on the uh, plastic ones whether the green one or the blue one would be better for the five wood. So I might try the blue one first just to see how I feel with it. I have a feeling it could be the uh, the green one because it's more flatter as if you were off the uh, the surface. So we'll see what happens on the driver. My drama has not been brilliant at the minute, but we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. And hopefully, you'll be able to see because the sun is just over there. So, same again. We're going to go with the wooden tea first, followed by the pink tea. Pink 
struggling to get the right height on that uh, wooden tee for some reason. So yeah, so the pink tee, it did go slightly past the trees, but uh, it is in sort of a fair way towards the fifth, fifth green, fourth green. So yeah, so we're going to try the five woods now, see what we think about them. Right, so we're going to try the five wood with the wooden tee first. The grass isn't as short as probably it should be, so I'm going to have to tee a bit slightly higher. Um, it's a bit bent sort of, a bit long the grass. So we're going to see what we do on the five woods. Right, that went a bit high, which I probably think I probably teed up a bit too high. So I'm going to try the green one. Right, so that was off the floor more or less. It's just raised slightly. Um, Time's gone slightly to the right, but I'm not going to worry about that too much. Um, yeah. So I'll go and collect the balls, we'll come back and I'll tell you what I think. Right guys, so we're done. It's a bit echoey, I'm um, inside some old aircraft part with lots of flies. <laughs> anyway, right, so views. Consistency on your height for your clubs, yes, I would say plastic. It's going to be in the same position all the time. Um, yeah, you see your driver and your three wood or your whatever you're using. Then, yeah, I would uh, probably go for plastic. Wooden. It's just getting the height, I think. Just don't think it's. Yeah. It just varies too much, I think. That's, that's what I'm thinking. Um, I think the ball sits, seems to sit nicely in the plastic ones for some reason and as you hit it you seem to get a better better strike don't know why that is, maybe it's but the the dip, I don't know um, it seems to be a better, better strike I seem to get, especially on the irons off the floor because obviously it's just raised slightly instead of using the ground it's just off, off the ground um, especially on that par 3, it definitely felt a lot better on the strike, obviously it was an eight iron. Usually I use a seven on there, um, but yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, it's, it's what you feel happy with. If you think you can use the wooden ones, and you can use the pro ones, you got the different heights. Then you know, use them. Fine. Nobody's gonna criticise you. Um, the other thing I think with the wooden ones is they break. Um, all quite a bit, especially the pro ones. Um, so yes, yeah, obviously you're going to go through them quite quickly. If you break the plastic ones, it's going to last you a lifetime. Uh, and I've just bought <laughs> a big bag of pink ones. Uh, I think there's 500 in the bag from a certain golf shop. Won't mention any names. Um, so I think from the time being now, I'm going to think I'm going to cross over to the dark side, which is a Simon Parks would have, of the of using tap my flies. Um, uh, of using plastic teas. Um, so I'm going to give it a go for a couple of weeks. See how I feel. I can't see a thing because the sun's right in my eyes. There we go. So I'm going to I'm going to give it a couple of weeks, just using plastic. See how I go. See if it improves my game at all. Um, I have got wooden tees there at home if I need them but yeah so it's up to you guys whatever you feel like it's like a golf ball if you want to use a Dunlop you use a Dunlop you know tees are the same it's everybody's choice nobody's going to pressure you to do what you want to do but uh, yeah so I would say at a test I've just done I felt a lot happier using the plastic so thumbs up for the plastics on the wooden ones 
I just didn't feel didn't feel right. I don't know why. Just something about it today. I felt more confident with the plastics and with my stand and my hit. So, hey guys, just gonna quickly uh, put this on the end here. So I've just done two holes away from the camera. You know, no pressure. Just enjoying myself. It's a lovely evening, and I felt a lot more confident with the plastic tee. It just seemed to be. I knew it was the right height. I didn't have to worry about anything else. Just gotta make sure a good swing, and down the fairway, which you just did on two. Um. So I think it's probably the inconsistency of the height that's been causing me a few problems it might be causing other people problems as well um, so if you're having problems with the height of your tee or your drives just not getting out there not getting up or in cases like just becoming a bouncing bomb have a go with the plastic tee see what you think got nothing to lose um, spoke to two gentlemen on the course one said he doesn't mind which one he uses and the sun's in my eyes here and he can't see me um, so he didn't imagine which one he used plastic or wooden so it doesn't seem to matter on his game uh, which is to do quite a good drive with the plastic tee they had in it's quite a low one as well just below the pink I think um, yeah so just going to throw this in it's uh I'm, I'm gonna start using them see how i feel um i've got my handicap going tomorrow come around for my handicap see what i can get on that last week it was a complete nothing nightmare everything was going to pieces so we're gonna see what happens i'm gonna use my plastic tea and hopefully everything will go right right so that's it guys don't forget if you enjoyed the video click on the thumbs up uh if you've not subscribed to the channel Think about subscribing, seems to be stuck on 35 or 34, I think it's 34. Subscribe us, it'd be nice to get some more people on board. Any ideas or any videos you want to see, drop a comment below, let me know. And this one should be out sometime this week. The next one you're going to see will be the f uh, fitting, club fitting next weekend, which I'm going to go and do. And hopefully we'll be able to test a few clubs while we're there. See how we get on with that. So yeah, thanks for watching. Take care, and if you're on the golf course, enjoy this sunshine. Cheers, pals. See you later.